While picking the Royal Enfield Scram from the dealership, I was confused as to what's the actual purpose of having a bike that's a variation of the Himalayan. That can do everything the Himalayan does, but almost. Looks like the Himalayan, but almost. And has the exact same engine and power figures. Very shortly did I realize that having a bike like this when there's already a Himalayan makes a lot of sense. Where the Himalayan is the Amitabh Bachchan from Mahavati, with all the Parampara, Pratishtha and Anushasana. The Scram, on the other hand, is a lot less serious like Sharu, that loves having a little fun once in a while. Please stay tuned towards the end of the video for my detailed thoughts on the Royal Enfield Scram 411. But before that, let's see what I did with this new kid in town. Is this the trail that we were talking about? Your masculine ego makes you do things. Oh yeah. You're not that special also. <laughs> Maybe we should turn around. <laughs> Boiling hot right now. See, it is 11:14 in the night. I am cooking inside my gear. Where am I heading to? I'll tell you guys. This is the first installment of the ride. I don't know for some reason. I am actually very tired. Oh man, I need some air. Ah, oh, no kind of ventilation is gonna help me. This is the first installment of my ride. Don't worry guys, I'm not going on a longer ride. I am headed towards where? I honestly have no idea. This is uh, a ride that not I have curated. Um, I am gonna ride this new, fresh Royal Enfield Scram. And <laughs> the kind of riding that I'm doing, you must have gotten an idea about the mood of this ride. I'm gonna go berserk with this bike. Okay. Give it all the beans and just enjoy it to its fullest. Although I also am very aware of my limits as a rider, so I'm well aware of it. Hypocrisy ki bhi seema hoti hai. I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot of fun. Huh? Are? Kya is? Kya karta tu ekde? Kya na tu tu? हा माहिती तर चाललं ना पवई कुठे अरे आता राईडला नाही जात आहे मी त्याच्या घरी जातोय माणसा ओला स्कूटर लुक्स लवली हा आय मीन ॲज कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल ॲज इट इज इट स्टील लुक्स सो स्लीक फ्युचरिस्टिक द फ्रंट लुक्स व्हेरी फ्रजाईल दो दिस इज वॉट आय हेट अबाउट दिस कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस रायनॉक्स जॅकेट अँड द ग्लव्स आय मीन neither one of these is ready to accommodate each other a few moments later idhar laga do ye jahan pe rehte hai wahan pe the next day we are shooting the Hi himalayan scram right that's what it's called royal enfield himalayan scram <laughs> it's right in your face <laughs> <laughs> I should get some normal gloves suit. No no no. This that was the Vitara one. This one's Rhinox. No man. I just need to change them whenever I feel like. Ha. Oh, I forgot my glasses. It's right there. Take two. Take two. <laughs> Finally I'll just fall I'll just be following you I know no roads You know nothing All righty Here we go This is the second installment of the ride and we are headed towards again I still I'm not really sure <laughs> because so? I am not the one planning I actually usually don't plan uh destinations because I'm very bad at it for some reason. I just follow people taking me to places and hope that they don't kidnap me. Ab chronology samajh lijiye. Ah, this feels good. Sliding over it like this. Surprise, mother father. There's a better off-roader than me. <laughs> better and bigger. 
I'm not talking about Xerxes. I'm talking about the JCB over there. Anyway, by the way, this is Xerxes. Xerxes Wadia. He's an MTV VJ and a lot of things. So he's going to be joining me for this ride. And uh, he's the one who is... I am noob. Welcome to Garamba, the mecca of content. Lovely. <laughs> That's what I look for. To begin with, we are headed towards uh, Gorai Beach. Maybe. Oh, wow, I don't even know that. Yeah, towards Mud Island. After which, we'll be taking a ferry. Oh, yeah. This is what I love about the scram or the Himalayan. You don't have to look at whatever comes in your way. Unless it's a human being. Just, you just need to slow down, please, guys, please. Or an animal. Or an object as well. Just, guys, please, please, please ignore whatever I say. Just, just slow down wherever you can. Wherever you need to, rather. Oh, yeah. Time to stand up again. This is what I'm looking forward to on this way. <laughs> Just a, just a reason to stand up. The Himalayan, the, the scram feels absolutely peppy. And uh, it's like beautifully flickable. Not as huge as Himalayan. That's what makes it even more, I don't know, maneuverable. I don't know. I don't know if it makes sense because it's been a while since I've ridden uh, Himalayan as a matter of fact. So I can't really tell the exact difference but first impressions looking at both of them side by side i had that opportunity at my office uh the himalayan is much bigger and oh that's a z4 car damn it this is the newer generation z4 dude beautiful 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 okay i got distracted uh what was i talking about <sighs> what was i talking about god damn it or something related to this bike this cram the himalayan yeah so comparing this bike to the himalayan okay it took me a while to recall whatever i was talking about so as i was saying uh, when comparing this to the himalayan just visually looking at it the himalayan seems to be a little more larger maybe a little taller as well just the handlebars thanks to its 21 inches wheel front wheel okay we are having food here or what are we doing okay good use of the off-road capabilities quite literally that is where are we going so uh, uh, the Himalayan is quite larger and as a result is a little more to manage this one on the other hand is very flexible thanks to its smaller maybe lesser weight and smaller size compared to the Himalayan is this the trail that we were talking about Xerxes Is this the trail that you were talking about? <laughs> it's perfect, right? Yeah, exactly. It's like yeah, I love it. Yeah. Okay, I did not see that coming. Hard guardies don't have exhaust notes. Good that. Good that it kills the engine once the stand is off. Exactly, man. Don't have to go anywhere further. Man, you. You want something easy to eat, right? Yeah. Or a certain. Exactly. Let's go find something. Yes. Okay, we're already here. Oh, lovely. This is where we'll be taking the jetty to um, maybe Gorai Beach, I guess. I don't know. What is happening? Try to come up this slope on that motorcycle. Not a good idea. You should be going there. Nope. Come on. Okay. That's his Ladakh. Your masculine ego makes you do things. It is Ladakh bro. <laughs> okay, here we go. My, I've got good grip, right? I don't want to overestimate my skills and do something stupid. All right, Roger, Roger that. Can we ask them to keep just the two of us? It will look so beautiful, na? Just? just the two of us. Just the two of us. Don't work, right? 
you're not that special also <laughs> This has traction control? Oh, no, doesn't doesn't have. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You can, it's not switchable, right? This one? No. Okay, is anyone gonna help me take this bike out? <laughs> or am I on my own? Alrighty. Thank you, boss. Yes. Okay, interesting. Oh, I'm very sweaty. All I can smell is fish. No. Oh. oh, the temperature is surprisingly low over here. Obviously, because of the trees and everything. No drone zone. Okay. Oh man, I'm so sad that I can't take my imaginary drone out of my pocket. Sometimes things I say are so unnecessary. Hey, where are we? Is this the beach? This. Lovely. Oh, isn't this the what do you call it? Jinga. This is very slippery, huh? This looks like one of those Royal Enfield commercials only. <laughs> exactly. recording yes we'll have to tokyo drift out of here it wouldn't help actually oh it is actually slippery oh man it's very very hot out here all right that was uh, the second installment of the ride i don't know what why am i calculating all of this in installments maybe because i'm drowned by emis just another tuesday in india okay we are at the beach here we go are we riding over the beach lovely look at that i will replace that with an eagle <laughs> i mean no offense to that crow but Lovely. Do it again. Woo. Going with a lot of preconceived notions about this bike, I was actually taken aback with how fun the Scram is. Right from the way it looks to the way it handles, everything about this bike feels fresh. and most importantly less serious where the himalayan demands poise and attention from the rider for it to give everything that it has the scram can be thrown into any situation on the road and somehow manage to scram through it without breaking a sweat i purposely put myself in situations i wouldn't even think getting into on my own bike and the scram just glided over it as if that's what it does every day and that's true i can see this being the new rage in the beginner category of riders that are younger and given the condition of the roads and traffic in india the scram can be one of the best options in the market and that's exactly what the purpose of this machine is to flick through the dense traffic without caring about bad roads and potholes and when you take it to the trails where the himalayan is the king the scram surprises you by doing the exact same thing with the same amount of grace i did wonder by the end of it whether the 21 inch wheel on the front is even needed on this one Despite of this being placed as the urban off-roader, the Scram does pretty well on the highway as well. Given that your average cruising speed lies between 80 to 100, the Scram comfortably rides without any noticeable vibrations or stress on the engine. You pull anywhere above it, 
and you notice the lack of power on the highways to conclude this step sister of the himalayan is obviously not as mature as the himalayan itself but has almost all the tricks up its sleeves while being super fun loving and exciting pitting it against the other adv bikes in the same category the scram is among the best all rounders in the market what do you think about the royal enfield scram let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you soon on my own gt650 before she catches me cheating on her thanks for watching bonus एक वर्टिकल एंड एक हॉरिजॉन्टल आई एम रियली स्केट ऑफ डूइंग दिस होली आई एम सो प्राउड ऑफ माय सेल्फ होली थोड़ी थोड़ी फाटली पण लय मजा वाटली वी कांट गो फर्दर राइट कैन गो फर्दर अहेड जस्ट डोंट थिंक दैट्स अ गुड एडवाइस ओके दिस इज एक्चुअली फॉर मोर देन आई बिलीव्ड it to be okay okay it maybe it is not all right buddy time to turn around maybe you have not realized it but i have a little tricky business over here maybe we should turn around <laughs> yeah it won't say no this is not even wider man nope <laughs> this is literally clay man Turn that going around. Yes, but is it going to stay? Uh, no, I'll have to get a stone. It's a little difficult finding a stone. Ah, chah, that is there. No, I can hold it here. Just don't kick me while getting off. <laughs> Leave it. I don't need one. I don't. I'll hold it like this. I'll go. Pakda? Yeah. Two rocks coming up. Okay, I can actually use this for my support. Lovely. See now I can also leave the bike. Wow. I'm such a genius. Only if the handlebar twists, I'm screwed. You guys couldn't see that I left my hand? See? I'm a magician. Koi sense is baat. I should get a sense of humor. I don't know. I mean, I should just just I should just get sense. Look at this naive little boy <laughs> searching for a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure that's not dried poop because people often release themselves. Okay, my okay, my boot has sunk in. That's not dried poop, right? <laughs> See? Bye, have a great time. Okay. It took it. No, I can't take I can't take it. <laughs> Another one. What are we are doing? We search on of rocks or what? <laughs> okay, so clearly this isn't working out. What we can do is use this plastic. And keep it on this. I guess this would work. See, it did. I'll do the same somewhere else. Physics. So please, sabarakara, sarakabar, sabarakarai, sarak, sarakab, whatever. Please, sab, sarak. Uh, I want to reach one million likes. So please, sarap, sabarak, sarapakara, 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 sarapakarai, sarapakarai.